Hi, I'm Laurent Renard. I'm the CEO of Toro, um, NFC uh, company based out of Taipei. And can you give me a little explanation of where you think we are in the NFC ecosystem today? Okay. So the NFC ecosystem, after many years of development, is finally really about to, 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 to be ready. Um, actually, the, the first level of, 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 of ecosystem, I would say, meaning pretty soon there will be hundreds of phones you can pick from that will be NFC enabled. You have the, uh, the Samsung, Google, and Nexus S. Um, there are uh, mobile operators launching uh, the NFC wallet, which is good because this is what we sell to we are an NFC wallet provider. And uh, yeah, pretty much the banks are, are, are joining, uh, transport systems are joining. So pretty much the ecosystem at this level for, for payment and uh, transport transactions is ready now. It's ready and there are, I would say, tens of projects brewing now for, uh, for release in uh, 2012. This, the second level of ecosystem is not ready yet, is when you can actually, instead of uh, having an interesting payment experience with your phone, you can have a shopping experience with your phone. Meaning, uh, not only will you pay, but you will also be able to, uh, to get some coupons, to redeem some coupons, uh, to get some loyalty points. And this is kind of being, I mean, we're working on that still. There's a few ways to look at NFC and security. Um, there's a few different options that people are taking. Some is on the secure micro SD, some is on the, the SIM card. What are you seeing um, develop as the kind of prevailing standard right now? That's very interesting because it, it all boils down to who's going to be the owner of the secure element and who's going to be, uh, I mean, who's going to be, what are the weapons going to be uh, in this, in this Brewing wallet war. So basically, there are three types of secure elements today you can find on the phone. One is the SIM card. The SIM card as a secure element would be the property of the of the mobile operators, the telco. One could be the micro SD card, which the banks are looking at because it gives them some, some level of independence. And the other one is the secure element, the embedded secure element, which Google is using, for example. So which architecture will win? I don't know, probably we'll have uh, the three types of architecture who's cohabiting. So it's, uh, it's going to be uh, really depending on who's proposing the service. What we're seeing today in the industry is that um, companies like Google, Apple, maybe tomorrow Amazon or, uh, or Microsoft, they are verticalizing uh, the services from the cloud to the phone down to the secure element. Because if you want to pay with your, your Google wallet, the application is on the secure elements of the phone, and uh, this is really um, this is really one aspect of the war that's happening between, on on the one hand, Apple and Google, and on the other hand, the mobile operators. So, NFC is some kind of a third platform coming up. Um, it's interesting because uh, it will generate a new type of advertising and a new type of marketing where people can actually tap on a poster to get a coupon, redeem this coupon. So it's a new way of doing marketing, which is more opt-in, uh, less intrusive than what exists today, and that, uh, and that Google and Apple are taking on now. So NFC is a new battlefield for telcos and, and Google and Apples. The, the, the big interest for mobile operators is to add value to the SIM, meaning they should fight for their wallet to be on the scene, and they should fight to have the Visa, the MasterCard applications, the transport application, all the local applications that people are using today with a contactless card. They should fight to have it on the scene, to add value to the scene, and to and to and to and to, to get their, their grasp uh, on the user back. And on the other hand, Google and Apple they will fight to have these same applications on the on the embedded secure element to, to keep uh, the smartphone as a platform. Uh, for the marketing and, and the advertising revenues. So it's really a fight that's broader than just NFC, but NFC is going to be uh, one important uh, battle that mobile operators cannot win, because, sorry, mobile operators cannot lose, uh, otherwise they will lose uh, another battle to, uh, to Google and Apple. But the good news for mobile operators, I think, is that they have a chance to, 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 to be prevalent in this battle, because mobile operators, at the end of the day, 
are local companies. They know the banks, they know the transport system locally uh, in their country. Um, they are used to, to, to work with them and there is some level of trust. Uh, and NFC is a local technology. I mean, NFC, although it's a, it's a global standard, it's always local applications. If I'm in Hong Kong, I will have my Octopus card, I will have my uh, HSBC uh, Visa card. These are local applications with local, that abide by local rules, that are integrated local specifications. It's, it's always very local. I mean, smart card payments, smart card uh, security is always local, depends on government regulation and stuff. Uh, 